Hey guys, Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned Minecraft engineer. Here we are in the world where I'm making a farm for everything. Last time we made a wool farm. It's working wonderfully. We have another one over here that's working. I should probably use that wool at some point. Today we are going to make a lava farm or a lava bucket farm, whatever you want to call it. This farm is extremely easy, extremely useful, and will give you infinite fuel in Minecraft. Let's do this. So the first thing you want to do is build a column five blocks high. And then from that top block, you want to build out one, two, three. Do that on all sides. You will get something that looks like this, kind of like a cross. What is that guy doing? Then you just need to fill in one, two, one, so that you get kind of this diagonal block thing going on here. So again, on each corner, one, two, one, one, two, one. One, two, one. Let me build up so that you get a look at that shape. There you go, it looks just like that. Then what we're going to do is take a lava bucket, place it in the middle, and that lava should spread all over that platform. Now your farm will look something like this. Then what we are going to do is break this column that's underneath that platform. Then take your pointed dripstone and place pointed dripstone on every single block of that platform. And sadly, we're short one pointed dripstone. I'll be sure and get that later from my dripstone farm. Actually, you know what? I could grab this one right here. Then what we are going to do is grab our cauldrons and place those underneath the dripstone. Under every single one, you're going to place a cauldron. To place these cauldrons, just crouch and place them. That way you're not trying to collect from the cauldrons. Okay, and we already have a cauldron that filled up. All you have to do to collect the lava is come under here and grab the lava. And now we have an infinite lava source, but I don't like the look of this floating, so we're gonna make it into an actual farm looking thing. So to do that, I'm going to come out to the side of this first one, and I'm going to build up all the way to the top like that. I'm gonna do this all the way around. The only place I'm gonna leave gaps is right here on the edge. Okay, I'm gonna place a chest there. Going to place a crafting table there. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of buckets and place them here in this chest. I still feel like there's something I could do up there on top. Okay, I'm gonna bring this out one more just for decorative purposes. Yeah, so making that lip all the way around kind of made it look like a hut. I like that. Okay, so now the top of our build looks like this. And I'm going to go around the edge and place these iron bars. I just think it looks cool. Yeah, so just like that. And look, in just a matter of minutes, whenever you come under here, any cauldron that's really lit up, you can grab lava from from underneath. Some of them look a little lighted if they're next to a lit cauldron, but don't be fooled. It's really the ones that are the most lit that have the lava. In a matter of minutes, I already have seven buckets of lava and look, they just keep coming. Eight, nine, this truly is infinite lava. I hope you guys enjoyed this infinite lava bucket farm. And as always, thanks for watching.